I want to show you how to use the false position method in Excel to solve for some implicit equation for unknown x. I call this the smart trial and error method. This equation has the form left-hand side equal right-hand side. So I define f of x as the left-hand side minus the right-hand side, such that when the left-hand side equals the right-hand side, x is correct, and therefore f of x is zero. So that's my goal. I set my goal for f of x. I also plot f of x in blue and the goal in red for illustrative purposes. I create a table of x and f of x. For any x, I can calculate f of x using this equation. The equation is square root of x, which is this value, over 2 minus 3 minus 2 natural log x over 10. So that's the correct equation. And I just make two guesses and calculate f of x. For the next one, instead of just guessing something else, I use linear interpolation. I describe linear interpolation in a separate video tutorial, if you're not familiar with that. Calculate f of x at this value of x. Graphically, I have my first two points, and then I extrapolate to the zero case, the goal, and get a new x. That's this x here. And now I have a new f of x at this new x. Well, in Excel, if you grab this little square here, you can fill down and keep doing this. What's happening is every time I interpolate, I use the last two values. So if I go up here, I'm using this one and this one to get my new x. And then this is just the f at that x. And so the second iteration, I go from this point up. Here's my new guess for f. And I extrapolate to this point. So that's this is my new x about 2.5 something. Calculate the f there. That'll be this point up here. And I repeat the process. My third one in uh, this reddish color here extrapolates to this point. And you can see that it's very rapidly approaching the correct value, which is here. And after just a few iterations, I have converged so that f of x goes to zero. And this is my final answer for x. I also want to show you that. The order of these doesn't matter, these initial guesses. If I do a 1 and then a 0 0.2, I still get the same results. If I pick some different guesses, I should still get the same result as well. 0.3 and 5, I still get the same answer. And if I try something else, maybe 8 and 2, I still get the same answer. If you happen to be clever enough to pick something that straddles the actual point, let's pick like three and four, then it converges much more rapidly. If you pick something that's inappropriate, like a negative one, you have a square root of a negative number, and that's not going to work. But as long as you pick something reasonable, you should get to the right answer. I can even pick something fairly wild, and it'll still work. Sometimes it doesn't, and you can play around with different values, but usually it works out.